Hey, sneaking in back tonight. Okay, I wasn't going to do a video tonight because I was enjoying myself doing other stuff. Okay, but I've not actually shown you Ubuntu Studio for a very long time. This is Ubuntu Studio 17.10. So do remember, it's only only supported for nine months, so until that makes it July, I think, as far as I'm aware. Now, please be aware that these things here, it may break, okay? I'm not actually sure if Jack is enabled, because I haven't gone into it too much. I've just had a quick look round, basically, and a look. I used to use it uh, back in the... Ooh, quite a few years ago. Let's just say that, a few years ago, for doing some stuff. Then also my hardware got so out of date it could run it basically at the end of the day. But we still have Ubuntu Studio. A lot of distros have gone by the way since here, but Ubuntu Studio is still here for doing stuff for your studio. Now in studio they mean so you may do music, you may do graphics, you may do movies, videos, lots of stuff like that. So I'm going to quickly go through it with you so you can see. Now it's running basic XFCE, okay? Basic XFCE, I'll tell you. That. You'll want to theme it before you start. I'll tell you that for a start, because it's just basic. But what they've done is actually put all the stuff into the ISO so you can use it. Okay, and I'll show you in a minute. So you've got your basic bar up here. I've put some stuff on the bar, as you can see, my weather, my CPU, so I know what's happening and going down in the world of this distribution. Okay, let's go to the menu. Or well, shall we? Yeah, let's go to the menu. Okay. So we'll scroll up. You get favorites and news. Which you normally would get in XFC, okay? I can go to all, but that'll be a really, 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 really long list. Now, I've installed the additional drivers for my chip and the graphics card I'm using, okay? So, first, we're going to go to audio production. What do you get? Oh my god, in Himmel, look at all the stuff you get. Yes, it is over 2 giga download, but everything is here for you. So without all these, which I'm not even going to go into at the moment, unless you want me to, a, a future time, really. You get Ardor 5. Yeah, Ardor 5. Audacity. Brazero. DG Edit for your drum kit editor. Hydrogen for doing more drum kit stuff. Right. Internet DJ console. Now, I've never been a fan of this. Excuse me. I'm going to open it, just in a basic sense. I've not loaded no audio files, by the way. I've only installed it about an hour and a half ago. I've not played it for a long while. I'm not sure if I prefer this or Mix, to be honest with you. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to play with it in the next hour or so, and I'll tell you how it goes on, basically. But it's basically for internet DJing. But please remember, if you make your own radio station, there's lots of licenses and stuff you have to go through, and it's a pain up the posterior. Okay, So sometimes it's not even worth it. But if you want to make a mix of your own, maybe you want to use this, maybe you want to use Mix. I will go with Mix every time personally but i've been using it for such a long time it's like it's like a little thing that you go to you know you know it and you use it anyway muse score two what's oh, q q tractor oh i know some people might want to use it mm, yeah mate you know you are okay and some looper stuff etc what about graphic design oh my god yeah blender anyway some graphics utilities and some what's sort of photography Okay, under photography, you get dark table. I do love that. That's great. Fetch. Oh, rapid stuff. Oh, raw therapy. And restrato, rest I'm not really a big fan of, personally. And, of course, you get all the favourites, like Gimpage and stuff like that. Inkscape here is here as default. Critter is here as default. Some people prefer Critter than they do Inkscape. But, hey, what's your opinion? Let me know. Okay. Video production. Now, I have installed a few things here, only a few, for the simple reason I don't really like... I do not I do like Voco Screen, okay? I do like it. I'm going to open it. It just doesn't work very well anymore for, for me. It may work fantastic for you. It just doesn't work for me, which is not good, really, is it? it don't work. The thing with Linux, you go with what, what's worse for you, basically. I mean, Sneaky Boy is having it. He's building his own PC because it's half-term in the UK. And he's got a well. He's got a choice of two different CPUs, but his graphics card is going to be a GTX seventy seven fifty Ti. Okay, so he's got to choose what operating system he wants to go with. Okay, he plays a lot of games, and he knows the restrictions of that sort of thing. So yeah, it's all right. It was a video production. So I'm using Simple Screen at the moment, as you can see. You do get Pit TV. 
Open Shot as Standard, Caden Live, DVD NG. So what's DVD? What's, what's the difference between DVD and DVD NG? Let's click it and find out. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh. No. Now I see it. So you get China Video Disc. I think that used to be a, a different thing. Okay. You also get Matroska. Okay. A complete container. But it will need some certain programs to run these. So if I click on programs need to, to run DVD. You need WF Prob and AV Prob, which I need for WF MPEG at the end of the day. We've got VLC installed, so that's fine for us. So we scroll down. So, you need, so you'll need WF MPEG and AV Conv, or one of. Okay. We've got the burners, that's no big deal. They're installed by default. Okay. Everything's installed by default, basically, isn't it? At the end of the day. So we're all there, ready to go. So we can burn our stuff to disk to play in our DVD players. Or if you're really lucky, a Blu-ray player, which are really expensive to buy movies for, which is why we've not got one, because I'm not prepared to pay £25 for a Blu-ray disc when I can stream it. Yeah, no man. So we will see. Okay. So let's put that bit out of the way. Subtitle editor. Oh, okay. Fair enough. That looks okay. Right. Education. What do we get? You only get LibreOffice Math. See, it's really, really heavily... Going on to the, the creative arts, is what I'm going to say. The creative electronic arts, is what I'm going to say here, basically. Ubuntu Studio Information. Right, this is where you click when you want to find out stuff. Okay, so if we go to Read Hacky and Make Ubuntu Studio Better, I'll just click it. It'll open a browser up for me. I'll have a quick drinkage while I'm here. Hang on a second. Mm -mm -mm. So if you feel you've got the um, skills to help them, okay, do this stuff like make mix better for them yeah you know where i'm coming from go and get in contact with them and give it a go yeah why not but as you can see from the menu it is really really it's, it's in games you only get mines and sudoku it's just for uh creative production at the end of the day yes you could build your own system and do this now as far as i'm aware i don't think jack is running natively well, I hope it's not, because I haven't noticed any difference. But once you get Jack running, oh, it'd be perfect for music production. That's all I'm going to say. Perfecty, perfecty, perfecty. The only thing is I'm going to say is I'll click here. My memory uses is 84%, but do remember I've got 32 meg, so meg gig here. I'll open up a terminal for you, so you can see H-stop, okay? Which I normally do, as you know. H-stop. So we are using over a gig here, and this is installed on, on real, real hardware, okay? This is real hardware, and we're not in virtualization here. We're doing real, real stuff. But I'm recording at the same time. So you've got to remember, if you're going to use this, you're going to need some beefy components, okay? Um, if you're going to do graphics, you're going to need a decent, decent graphics card, okay? I've only got 970 here. It's okay. It, it does the job. But if you're going to do really, really intensive stuff, you're going to have to use the NVIDIA route. You're going to have to go up to the 10 series, aren't you? And hopefully the new AMD stuff will work pretty good too. Okay. Also, do remember your RAM has to be quite fast too. I've got quite slow RAM here, but I'm not too worried about it because I do lots of different stuff. It works for me. Could I warrant spending an extra £300? Could I warrant spend an extra £300, sneaky wife? No. See, she said no, so I can't have it. She's the boss. What do you do? Okay. She, she says I can't have it. Okay, never mind. But it works for me, so that's super fine. Anyway, that's Ubuntu Studio. That's just a real quick look, really. I could spend an extra hour doing this, because you could go on all day or all night, wherever you are. But yeah, that's it. Sneaky Linux out. See you later. Bye-bye.